This video is brought to you by the Three Minute Board Game patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Lanterns in about three minutes. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to four players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. You are taking part in the Harvest Festival and have been entrusted with decorating the lake in wonderful lanterns. Can you make the most impressive display of all? The game ends once the tile stack has run out and all players have placed their final tiles. You can then buy one more objective token. The winner is a player with the most points and you get those from the objective tokens. Card management. You'll have a hand of colored cards to manage. Tile placement. How you place tiles determines what cards you draw. Set collection. Cards can be turned in for victory points. Player turn. Setup is different for each player count. First get the objective tokens, remove the marked ones for lower player counts and then stack them on top of each other. The main tile stack loses 5 tiles per player less than 4, and the card stacks are also reduced for fewer players. Each player will be dealt 3 tiles they keep in their hand. When you play one, you will redraw a replacement. Once the stack has run out, you continue to play one tile a turn until your hand is empty. The game starts with one tile in the middle of the board. Player position around the table is important, so I have marked player positions with these oversized pawns. Each player gets one card based on the color lantern facing their seating position. The red player places a tile. As it connects a red side to another red side, they draw one red card. Every player then draws one card based on their position and the new tile. So the red player gets a green card as well. Yellow places this tile and collects a white for matching sides. All players get a card based on seating position. Because this tile has a platform on it, yellow gains one favor token. Orange places next gaining a pink for the matching side and two favor tokens, one for their platform and one for connecting to another one. Every player then gets their normal cards. A few things to note here. You gain one card for each side that matches up. So in this very unlikely scenario, you would gain four cards and two favor tokens. Cards are also gained in turn order, so if the stacks are shorter cards, you may miss out. Once you have a good number of cards, you can start your turn first by spending two favors to swap one card for another. Here the red player swaps one green for one white. This lets them turn in three pair for this objective tile. The next player has four favors, but can only spend two in one turn. They want to get four of a kind, but there are no red cards to take. So they spend their tokens to swap one white for one green, and then turn those in for a four of a kind objective. Finally, the orange player has one of each color and turns all of them in for that objective tile. The top tiles in each stack are worth more than the later ones, and if you run out of a stack, use these tiles instead. And if you ever have more than 12 cards, you must either buy an objective on your turn or discard down to 12. Why would you like this game? Can a game be both zen and tense at the same time? Well, Lanterns is exactly that. Its beautiful simplicity of rules combined with its eye-catching aesthetic draws you in, and the act of placing tiles and making this pretty color arrangement is really pleasing. But the card scarcity rules bring out Lanterns' sharp edge. If a stack is empty, you can place tiles to benefit yourself and deny others cards. And they can also do the same to you. Hoarding cards to maximize this tactic while also spending them to get the best objective tiles is also a fun balancing act. The constantly evolving board and state of the card decks means the choice of where to put one of those three tiles can get very tense. All up, this is an extremely family friendly game with its rules, but has enough bite to make gamers engaged. The best thing about this game is a wonderful balance between pretty looking with its simple rules, but a hard edge of decision making. However, I don't have a lot of bad things to say about Lanterns. It's a very solid design and does what it sets out to do well. I guess it probably won't be a good fit if you want something quite complex and involved, as it is short and simple. For another simple game with a great decision space, try Biblios. And for something a little more complex, try Tiny Towns. Lanterns, a super wholesome gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.